Hi, Chuck Hawley from West Marine. You know, one of the basic parts of your boat's protective equipment is to use the proper size fenders when rafting alongside other boats or when pulling alongside a dock. West Marine has a vast selection of fenders. Some would argue it's a little bit complex at times because we've got colors and sizes and different designs. One of the most basic questions about fenders is how to size them to fit your boat. One of the rules of thumb that we like to use is to look at the diameter of the fender and to choose a fender that has approximately one inch of diameter for every five foot of boat length. So for example, this is a six inch diameter fender by about 15 inches long. This would be suitable for boats up to about 30 feet. Now obviously larger fenders will provide more cushion for your boat and may last longer, but as a general minimum, this idea of one inch of fender diameter for every five foot of boat length has served us pretty well. Let's take a look at some of the fenders that we offer and find out what's the right fender for your boat. This is the hull guard fender from Taylor. It's a one piece vinyl fender with two eyelets, one at each end so that you can either hang it horizontally or you can hang it vertically. These are available in a whole raft of colors and in a variety of sizes to fit nearly any boat. And the top, it has a little, uh, like a soccer ball inflation valve here, which you can use a needle to inflate it with, and you want to have it just firm to the touch. You want to have enough cushion so that it can squeeze and protect your boat, not be too hard, but obviously not be so soft that it crushes all the way down. These fenders are an ideal utility fender. This is the Big B fender from TaylorMade. These are available in 10 different colors and four different sizes for boats all the way up to the 50 and 60 foot range. What makes the Big B fender unique is that it has a central hole which allows you to put a line through the middle of it so once again you can hang it horizontally or you can hang it vertically. And it's a very rugged way to attach it because the line doesn't pull out of the ends of it. It actually passes all the way down through a special channel that's molded into it. Like other fender designs, it uses an inflation needle to adjust the pressure so you can get just the right amount of cushion for your boat. Taylor makes a variety of specialty fenders for special conditions. This particular one has an interesting shape. It's designed for low freeboard boats where you don't have a lot of height to hang a tall fender. So in this case, you actually sort of hang it on the gunnel of the boat. Tie a line from here to the interior of the boat and it gives you the greatest amount of protection all the way up into that sensitive rail area where it's hard to get protection on most boats. So if you have, for an example, an aluminum skiff or something that has a railing on it where the fender would normally hang below it, this allows you to wrap the protection around the top of it. They're available in a whole variety of colors, and in case, it's a little hard to see in this video, but this actually has a little metal flake color to it, so it has some pretty interesting colors as well. This is the low freeboard fender from Taylor. Spherical fenders like this are common in the fishing industry and other commercial vessels. They provide the maximum distance away from the dock since they have this characteristic teardrop shape. This particular one is the tough end fender from Taylor. It has a softer vinyl material for the body of it and then a harder durometer material that's molded into it to attach the eye. So these are very, very rugged, hence the name tough eye. The valve is sort of an interesting design because it has two stages. You can actually stick an inflation needle into the center of it, but you can also spin it out using a uh, Phillips bit and you can inflate it with um, an air compressor so you can get the majority of the air in it and then you can top it off with an inflation needle. These are very, very rugged. They come in white or in orange colors and they're ideal for larger vessels uh, that want to have the maximum amount of protection against the dock. And incidentally, there is a cylindrical version of this as well that has two molded black ends in it. This is the tough end cylindrical fender and it provides equal protection, just a different shape. Another variation on the fender theme is the super guard fender. In this case, you have two molded eyes and these are really, really ruggedly molded. You're never gonna tear these things out. And then a colored body. The ribs give a little extra protection, a little extra thickness to the fender so that it withstands abrasion well. And it of course is adjustable in inflation pressures, has a little adjustable needle valve right here. As I said, these are available in a whole variety of colors and in sizes so that they can suit boats up to the 60 foot range. This is sort of a variation on the whole concept of a fender. These aren't inflated fenders, these are actually foam filled fenders. So they never need inflation and they never get uh, popped and have to be replaced. 
In this particular case, these are made by West Marine, and you can tie them together. They're modular so that you can make as long or as wide a fender as you want by stringing them together using this piece of line in the pre-drilled holes. You can use this little piece of Velcro to hold them up if you like, or you can use the blue line to also suspend them from your gunnel or from your lifelines. These provide not as much cushion, but they provide more surface area. So if you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of surge and you want to protect your top sides, these modular flat fenders are a good way to go. So remember when shopping for fenders, smaller boats should have a couple of fenders, while larger boats, say in the 40 foot range, might want four fenders, and even larger boats will need up to six fenders to protect them. Make sure you get a fender with a large enough diameter, and again, we recommend one inch of diameter of fender for every five foot of boat length. And remember, there are a whole variety of styles to suit your special needs, whether you need the spherical fenders for extra cushion or the flat fenders for more surface area. And remember, all of these fenders have an extremely good guarantee behind them, and they're available at West Marine.